Hi guys, what's up? Ash here and today I'm just bringing you the review of the new 2012 Apple TV. So let's get straight on into this. Bounce. So in the box you'll be getting your Apple TV, your Apple TV um, products guide. Um, you also get some Apple stickers and you'll also get your setup guide. In the box you'll also get the Apple TV remote and you'll also get a standard power cable but you will not get um, a HDMI included in this. So um, the Apple TV comes with the new um, start screen dash dashboard um, you get a variety of things from movies, TV shows, music, um, home sharing, settings, trailers, NHL, NBA, MLB, Netflix, WSJ, YouTube, Vimeo, Podcasts, Radio, Fortstream and Flickr. But um, you get all this and um, if you change your DNS, if you live in the UK like I do, um, you can get um, the American version of the Netflix. So um, you get more films and stuff. So now I'm just going to give you a quick overview of Netflix for Apple TV. So here's the Netflix um, startup screen and um, basically you just got suggestions recently watched and um, on the left hand side you've got your sort of cover flow, recent watch, genres, TV programs, new releases, just for kids, search and sign up. So the suggestions are just suggestions for you based on what you've already watched and um, recently watched is what you've recently watched. Genres, you've got a whole bunch of genres. But um, if you do change it to the American, you get a lot more films. So here's action, anime, children, family, comedies, documentaries, drama, foreign film, horror films, sci-fi and fantasy and thrillers. And um, actually, click on one of these to show you what it's like. Comedies. And basically you've got um, a categorised list of comedies, so romantic comedies, late night comedies. And then you've just got all the films as the front DVD page and then you scroll all the way along and you get a more button so you can look at all of the films that they have to offer and then that comes up like that um, so now I'm just going to show you um, YouTube no actually I'm not going to show you YouTube everyone knows what YouTube is so I'll just show you some um, airplane so yeah one sec so now I'm just going to show you um, a play for Apple TV or Macbook on Mountain Lion and stuff. What you can do, you can um, say you're on Spotify or just normal music. You can click Apple TV on your device by clicking on the uh, play button which is, this will be out of focus because um, it just will be. So you click the Apple TV sign. And a choice will come up iPhone or Apple TV. Uh, you can see that blurrily. So you click Apple TV here and then you click play. And then we'll come over back to here. And then here's Spotify playing through your TV. And you can then um, swipe to next songs through this. So it does a nice transition. Can I also use the remote for this? There you go, um, and it's really quite good if you like music or films and such. Um, you can also uh, play videos, so I'll just show you one of my videos for copyright and stuff. So I'll just pause this. I'll wait for. Alright, it was going to play. Right, so Airplay is coming on now. As you can see, Airplay to Apple TV. So it's just loading now. And there you go, there's my video on my TV streaming from my phone. You can pause it from here. Play. And others. So um, now I'm just going to show you mirroring. I'm going to use my iPad for this. So one second. So now I'm going to show you a real cool feature about Apple TV. Um, you can actually mirror 
um, your laptop, MacBook, iPad, iPhone, iPod onto your TV. So here's my iPad once it comes on. Of course this all depends on your broadband speed and internet speed. Yeah, you know, well, I've done it through my iPhone wireless personal hotspot. So I'll just wait for this to load. Uh, one second. Uh, one second guys. Apple TV, mirroring. Oh, it came on then. And went out. Oh. I'll try it on the phone. One second. Try and mirroring now with my iPhone. Mirroring. There we go. So there's my iPhone. And so obviously it just shows your screen and games look. Games. We'll play um, something in landscape. Pants vs Zombies. So there's Pants vs Zombies on my TV. And it's looking pretty nice. Don't forget this all loading from your phone. So then you can just click on the adventure and continue. And there you have it, Pants vs Zombies. On your TV. So you can just um, place your fonts. And it was all coming from the phone. So this is good if you've got friends over and you want to watch a movie but you don't want to set up your computer right with it. So yeah, um, I'll try and get my iPad to work now. Oh, one second. Hi guys, I'm back. So I've just got it working. So as you can see, it's very smooth. Pretty much um, instant. So here's my iPad. Same. Um, I'll just show you. Um, so this is good. So um, I did get it working. Um, here's my iPad on the TV. And it's pretty much instant. Just move it, swipe it, swipe it. Um, yeah, I'll just show you YouTube on it. Um, the James Bond because the opening ceremony is good. So now it's playing, not streaming. Um, well, there you go. Here's um, James Bond and the Queen at the opening ceremony. Pretty nice. Um, yeah, um, it also has this feature where you can use games like Real Racing 2 and um, what it does, if we turn mirroring off, this is a different feature, um, it allows you to control your game through your iPad but it shows up on your TV. Second, uh, the real racing just stop them mirroring. I'll open real racing on an iPad. Right, so I'm just going to stream this iPad, Apple TV. Um, then come on. Ah, it's kind of a sound. It's a mirror. Oh. Hopefully this is it. Alright. Um, one second. Sorry about this, should be looking. Um, real racing too, there we go. Quick race, Castello Bay. I think this is it, should be. Um, it's just one. 
and yeah, this is it. So on your iPad it shows um, information about the map and stuff and your time and your place and then you just turn it and it controls your cap. So um, yeah, it's very good. Um, pretty decent quality and decent stream. Um, but I am good at this, but you know, I'm recording. <laughs> so um, yeah, pretty seamless break. Just top the screen and nothing. The graphics aren't showing up on the iPad screen, but on the Apple TV, so it's almost like a games console in that sense. That the iPad is a controller and it's on the screen, so it's pretty good, especially for the graphics. Like it's decent graphics on the iPad, obviously. For um, a tablet, just turn it, and it's very good um, feature. This. So yeah, let's um, let's move on into the review. Oops, no, don't want that. Um, yeah, so um, the Apple TV costs ninety nine pounds in the UK. Oh, I don't know how much it is anywhere else. Um, I think it's one hundred and twenty or so in the states. And um, I'll just stop there in there. So um, yeah, this has been my full review of the Apple TV. Um, this is the 1080p version. If you didn't know, it's just been released this year with the new, um, I think it was a WWDC, or sometime before, I can't remember. But um, yeah, it's good if you want to play and stuff, or if you like new movies, you can just rent them off the store. I'll buy them, depending on how new or old they are. Um, yeah, it's very good. I enjoy this and use this pretty much every day. So thanks, please like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And yeah, bye.